Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to start picking up again. We're going to start with the uh, slime sapling today. We're going to work our way all the way through the uh, top layer of this first tier here. Uh, you'll notice I actually uh, expanded this area over here a little, added some pins, that kind of thing. We're going to need to deal with some animals, so I went ahead and prepared ahead for that. And uh, one thing that I'm particular about is uh, making sure the animals are not close enough to me to where I hear them all day. So this should hopefully be far enough. I might be wrong, but at some point, uh, once I get to where you know you get abilities to fly that kind of thing, this I usually will put way away from me because little animals. So anyway, but uh, let's get started here, okay? So today uh, we're starting with the slime sapling, okay? Or blue slime sapling, I should specify. Blue slime, blue slime sapling, okay? Uh, the way you get that basically is cauldron. Lapis, but you're going to need milk, which is where we're going to get an animal stuff, okay? So you're going to need cows for milk. Cows, the way you get cows is you're going to use cow seed, okay? Cow seed, you need wheat and se seeds, which those basically come from the farming of the grass, basically, okay? Uh, but the other thing you're going to need is leather, and that's kind of a little tricky part to this thing, okay? So leather, what you're going to do is there's a couple ways to get leather. Basically, you know, you can go through the market or whatever. But the easiest one to me is to actually fish here and dry stuff. So for that we're going to need a fishing pole and that's where we're going to start with what I'm going to do. Okay, so fishing poles just sticks and string. You should be able to get all that here no problem at this point. Okay, so once we get our sticks and string used then we have our fishing pole. We go over to our water source which doesn't have a water flow so we can fish in that thing. Toss it in, give it a minute. You won't see the little uh, bubbles kind of heading towards it like you would normally but you will still see the uh, bobber kind of dot in with the hook and all. And there's our one fish. Make sure you cook it. And dry. While that's drying, we're going to go ahead and go over here and start working towards this. We're looking for seeds, basically. There we go. Make sure they are not you just want normal seeds, not colored seeds. So, go again. More lettuce seeds, huh? There's our normal seeds, okay? That'll give you the shredded wheat. And once you have your wheat seeds, oh, I missed one. Once you have your wheat seeds, just find yourself a spot of grass, uh, or you can uh, use your hoe and go again that way. But with me, I got the grass already, okay? Just bone mill that sucker, and that'll give you wheat, okay? So once you get the wheat, you're good to go except for the leather, which should be done drying by now. Once you have those three, you should be able to... Um, oh, I gotta eat more seeds. My apologies. Okay, there we have more seeds now. Okay, good. So once you've got the seeds and all that, now you should be able to make a cow seed, okay? Cow seed, you don't have to do any of the uh, host stuff. You just literally can pop it in. What I'd do is I'd walk over to one of your little pins here, pop it down, Good close your gate. Uh, I'll get in here, I guess. Eh. And just bone mill that too. Mm. Now I'll give you a baby cow. Now your baby cow is gonna take roughly about 20 minutes to grow up, okay? However, if you don't mind and you get enough bone meal to bother with, which you should have because you've been doing the file cabinet system, then you can go ahead and bone mill your wheat over there and make lots of wheat. Mm. For the wheat, you can get this cow down to about a minute. You just gonna, you know, have to feed him a lot. But you'll see the timer is just ticking down quickly. You can get him down to a minute. You do have to wait the last minute. Mm. And it should be an adult cow. Once you have an adult cow, you should be able to just use a bucket on 
get you a bu bucket of milk. That's all you really have to write this second. Head on over to your cauldron, drop your milk in, get yourself a lapis sapling, drop it in, and that completes your, your uh, advancement there. Alright, next up we have the green slime dirt, which you'll actually need to be able to plant this in the first place. So even though you get the plant, you still can't plant it. It doesn't go in normal dirt. So you'll need the uh, slime dirt to be able to do that in the first place. To make the slime dirt, you're going to need a cactus, okay? Two ways of getting a cactus in my, that I know of. Uh, one I don't like, one I do. You're going to get uh, cactus seeds, basically, which you, uh, to do that, you're going to need to take sand and put it in a grindstone. This is the one I don't like, okay? I'm just not a fan of the grindstone. I mean, you, you hardly use it, and then there's a, a better version of it you can get after the fact and all. So it just becomes this thing that I always have in my inventory. It just, bah. I, I literally just want to throw it away at one point. So I, I don't even bother with it, okay? So the other one is vines, to which case all you need again is jungle sapling, okay? So get your jungle saplings. Go over and uh, on your uh, drying rack and just throw it on there, okay? And that will make your vines. Once you get your vines, you've already got this dude right here. So he can actually just give you a cactus. He wants to trade eight vines for it, so do eight of the saplings. And just trade for a cactus. Way easier. Once you have your cactus, get yourself some milk from your cow over there, Mr. Mr. Noisemaker. And dunk it in. That gives you your green slime. Dirt. Once you get your green slime start though, you can actually go over, pop it in the tray finally, and then you can actually plant this tree. And I guess that. that also, by the way, finishes out all these these uh, advancements. We'll go play with the ones up here. All right, next up we have these little slab things. See right here. They can do uh, you can do chest slabs, workbench slabs, furnace slabs, and crafting station slabs. For the workbench slab and the crafting station slab, if I remember correctly, uh, I think the furnace one is fine. But um, the first two, you just throw them into a crafting table. It'll let you make miniature versions of them. The workbench, though, and the crafting station one, you actually need to do that with a stick, and then it'll give you the option to do the, the smaller one. But these are fairly simple. All you do is take it, walk up to a uh, crafting table, put it in there. It'll give you the option to make it. You know, that'll get your achievement done. Okay. Now, with me, I don't like these things, so I almost, if I should put it down, I almost immediately will put it right back to being normal, mainly because I cannot pipe these little dudes, so I don't, I'm not a fan of them, I just don't like them, but it's up to you, some people love them, just not me, anyway, off we go to the next, okay, next one's cobblestone mud, okay, cobblestone mud, get your piece of cobblestone, piece of dirt, Bucket of water. Go to the crafting bench. There you go. That's your mud. Wooden crook is pretty straightforward. You just need four sticks. Get yourself four sticks. Walk over to your crafting bench. Put them in that order. And they get you that achievement done. Stone crook, pretty much the same as the wood would. Get yourself mm -hmm. two. Pieces of cobblestone, pop them in a crafting bench just like you would the wood. There's your st stone crook, mm -hmm. or the, st the uh, stone rods for the stone crook. I get the same order, pop them in there, mm -hmm. and they get you your stone crook. All right, so this next one we're not going to complete right off the bat, but it's doable. Okay, and it's just one of these you're going to start it, walk away kind of thing. So this one should have already been done already. Okay. This one here, though, what you're going to do, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do, is there's a thing called a cobblestone generator you can make, okay? Take six cobble, piece of glass, which, you know, cook sand, a uh, bucket of uh, uh, water, bucket of lava, okay? So make your lava first, okay? Get your bucket of water. Now get you all set for that. And once you have that, you get your piece of glass made, you get six cobble in your inventory, make the uh, cobblestone generator, okay? Pick yourself a nice spot, put it down, and then just 
put a chest on top of it. You should notice it start filling with cobble, and it'll go nice and slow, but it will fill that thing, okay? Now, if you want, you can take the resources and actually make yourself better, 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 okay? We can't do these two yet, generally speaking, but we can get up to diamond. It's just, you know, it's an involvement of investment and resources. I would go ahead and do that, and that, that'll get you way better in terms of getting that accomplishment finished. And then you just go off and do other things while you're waiting on that. But anyway, that's that's what'll get that one done. So the cobblestone one's fairly, I mean, I'm sorry, the obsidian one is fairly straightforward. Um, just make yourself more lava. Bucket of water, drop it in. Your obsidian, done. All right, bacon sapling. Make a sapling, you're going to need bacon, sugar, apple sapling. So we'll start with the bacon. Bacon, the only way you're really going to get bacon at this point in the game, okay, is pork chop. Chop it. You get bacon, okay? To get the pork chop, you're going to need pigs. Pig seed right here. Dirt acorn, we got it. Seeds, we should have plenty of. Carrots. Um, at some point during this course, you should have uh, picked up carrots while you were you know, carrot seeds while you were dealing with this. If you didn't get carrot seeds, another option you could do. Uh, go over here to the market. And your carrot, there's carrot seeds there. He wants eight wheat. You should be able to get plenty of wheat. And then that'll get you your carrot seeds. Take your carrot seeds. Put them on over. Pop them down. And you, know, you can wait again. Or you can get your bone mill out. And that'll get you carrots. Get yourself a nice group, big group of carrots, so you're going to need them. Once you guys your carrot, then we can go over here. And we should be able to craft our, our carrot, our uh, pig seed here. Take your pig seed over, pick a pin. You can put them on the same one if you really want. Doesn't much matter. Put your pig down. Same thing here. Give them 20 minutes. Pigs feed them carrots. Mm. And then move him down to a minute. Mm. Once we have an adult pig, go ahead and kill him. And that'll give us pork chop. Mm. Or what is it? Raw pork chop. Take your pork chop over. You only need one. Cook your pork chop, and then you're going to need the chopping block. Piece of wood and flint. Mm. Take your chopping block. Find a nice convenient spot to pop it down. Once you get that dot chopped down, shit up a block or put your pork chop on there that's cooked. Hit it a couple of times. And there's your bacon. Once you have your three bacon, then you're still gonna be in your piece of sugar. Sugar, we um yeah, we got a little bit of the sugar. Yeah, yeah. You know. I got a piece of sugar in there somewhere. Or sugar cane, I should say. I'm going to keep one of these. <laughs> Go over here by crafting bench. Put it in here. There's my piece of sugar I need. So, once again, three bacon, sh sugar, apple seedling. And I get you your bacon sapling. And while we're at it, about the time you get done with this, should be able to open that up, and that'll get you your cobblestone achievement too. So that does actually two of those. And our donut sapling. Donut sapling. You need three donuts. Sugar, apple sapling. Apple sapling you'll get. Sugar should be straightforward. Donuts. Donuts that come from cooked dough. Cooked dough comes from dough. Dough comes from four wheat, 
with the uh, water. So, we're going straight forward, go get your four wheat, do the water. Oh no, we hit the sugar cane again. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> We need one piece of sugar. That'll make you cook your dough. Put your dough in your furnace. That'll cook it. Once you have eight cooked dough, then you can now craft your donuts. Once you have at least three, which that makes four, you can go ahead and make your donut sapling. And that will complete everything, and the game tells you you win. Yay! But you're not done. You get tier two. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this has helped y'all. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And we will start into this tier next. Hope to see y'all in the next video. Do like, subscribe, and we'll catch y'all then. Have a good one.